Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to this video. In this one, we are going to be covering the Assassin Emblem and talk about what's the best talents and stuff to pick on it. So real quick, let's pull up the spreadsheet here and take a look at the numbers for an Assassin and see what we got. So what is your role as an Assassin, right? Well, you want to sneak around the battlefield and the map pretty quickly and kill out of position enemy heroes and you want to do it fast, get in, get out. So what are the best stats for that are going to be physical attack physical penetration and crit right so much damage you can biggest hits as you can in and out right so obviously we're going to be talking about only the physical damage dealing assassins right here um, the mage emblem uh, video i did will cover the mage assassins as well so you're going to have a couple different options that you can pick from right assuming that you do not have the assassin emblem all the way built out it's by far the best for the assassin class and we'll, we'll talk about that here in a little bit but you have a couple other options right so um, obviously if you're going to be spending time in the jungle we talk about this a lot the jungle one is very very good to get fed very quickly um, what do you can see here when you build on it let me actually move myself real quick mm -hmm. there we go all right sweet um, all right, so if you, so let's talk about the jungle real quick. If you were to build on it as opposed to the assassin one, because you're spending time in the jungle, right? So you get 25 attack, two and a half percent life steal. Life steal is not that good on assassins because usually you're just using abilities, but it is something. Uh, nine percent attack speed, not that great. Movement speed, six percent movement speed is very good on assassins though. Being fast on assassins is important. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's just cover the jungle one right there. You can see what would you pick on the jungle items if you were an assassin. Uh, I would pick wild wild power to slow someone down and farm quicker in in the jungle. So that's what I would do. But let's talk about the jung or the assassin emblem right here, in and of itself. So you're gonna get a lot of attack, a lot of penetration with it, and crit, which is crazy, right? So what are you gonna pick on the first thing? Um, bravery let's talk about physical attack cooldown reduction or movement speed right so honestly i would probably pick movement speed i'm thinking of someone like lance dude that lets you get in and out of situations and survive and not die right like you could pick the bravery um Maybe that's even better though, actually. So uh, I do have it statted down here at uh, using the bravery, 27 attack, right? 7% crit, 13 and a half physical penetration, a little bit of movement. And then what are you going to get for your last? Um, you know, that's picking bravery here. And then that's also picking the crit chance right here, the fatal. Uh, spell vamp, eh, you don't really want that you get plenty with the bloodlust axe 20 percent is enough for most people um you'd rather have just basic damage up front that allows you to kill things quicker as opposed to trying to sustain you don't want to sustain as an assassin you want to kill people and get out all right so you can pick the bounty hunter which gives you extra gold from hero kills this is really really good uh it maxes out though but this is a this is kind of a win more thing right like after you've killed someone you get a bigger benefit from it i mean you've already killed them you're already head at that point of the game i want something to help me kill someone not help me snowball after i've killed them right uh high and dry increases damage six percent on enemy hero when he's the only one nearby this is really good but honestly i don't think this is very applicable in the game it's a team-based game and if you're high level ranked you're not going to be fighting someone alone. So killing spree, slaying an enemy hero grants 8% HP, increases movement speed by 10%. Okay, so this lets you get in and out, right? These abilities in the end, I don't think are that great for the assassin emblem set. But the stats given from the emblem set are absolutely ridiculous, right? So the 5% critical, uh, the cooldown reduction, uh, the crit chance increase, the movement speed, you know, the lots of attack, lots of penetration. That is fantastic. So those, those are the things I would pick for this emblem if you have it. Now let's talk about if you don't have it and you want to substitute something else. So the physical, right? So you can tech into 26 attack, 3% um, attack speed, not very, not very useful on assassins, right? 2% critical chance. And then you're going to have to pick something defensive, right? Because you don't get good choices for just pure damage. Um, in your first you know three talent points up here right so this is okay obviously the open fire is okay 
you really don't use your physical attacks all that much so it's not that good so this you know obviously this is the first choice this is the second slash first if you're spending a lot of time in the jungle and then the physical uh, is probably your last choice and we'll, we'll get into that here in a second the fighter we'll talk about the fighter fighter has really good physical attack good physical penetration and then you're going to have a little bit of defenses too right and what are you going to pick as an assassin on this so unbending will increases um it, yeah so you, you can pick unbending will and the reason is, is because the other options are just not very good right um so increases damage dealt with hp you're gonna have low hp you might get down a little bit and and this just helps you do more damage right whereas stay like a rock when being cc'd if you're cc'd as an assassin you're dead um disabling strike skills on average 20 percent slow effect that might be pretty good if you're like someone like lance but in honesty think about it with lance if you land your ultimate or the rose uh petal rose or whatever your second ability is called on them they're dead anyways like you don't need additional slow from it right he's so fast and so mobile already so that doesn't really matter so you'd pick unbending will so once again for the fighter your your last talent points aren't really that great on him so assassin slash jungle first fighter um actually no it's gonna be marksman second fighter third and then physical last if you if you have the choice right so let's talk about the marksman build for a for an assassin right so the marksman talent page i've told you before just gives you ridiculous stats compared to everything else right so what are you going to get you're going to get 29 physical attack five percent lifesteal which is like good seven and a half percent attack speed which is i mean that's just a lot it's just a lot of stats right 5% crit chance, okay, a little bit less than the assassin, but you're getting a little bit more attack. 6% physical penetration, okay, you know, half as much, but still. But then you're also going to get 13.5% attack um, or uh, critical damage, right? Like, that's crazy. That's a ridiculous amount, right? So you could even run cooldown reduction if you wanted to on it. Um, so I pick I pick attack, right? I don't think life steal is that important. You could pick crit chance, but I think that this bravery, this is just better than like 3% crit chance, but you could pick it, right? Um, Doom right here, this is critical damage, right? 4.5% scales up. Um, that's ridiculously good. Cooldown reduction could also be good. Swift, you don't really want attack speed on an assassin, depending on what kind of assassin it is, but really you don't. Um, weapons master also... Um, it's just it, these other two. Go watch the uh, the marksman video. To my explanation of them. They're just they're just not applicable for assassins. But an extra eight percent damage, physical damage from gear. That's great, right? That's that's amazing. So once again, build the marksman one out one out all the way, and you can use this for the assassin one while you work on building it, the assassin one, right? Because the assassin doesn't really have that great of end talents on here, in my opinion. So that's that's the substitutes right there. So first is assassin, second's jungle, third is gonna be marksman, um, fourth is fighter, and then fifth is physical on there, right? So, and you can see the stats on here. Um, and, and once again, the real drawback is the assassin doesn't seem to have that great of uh, of end talents on it, whereas the marksman does. And just compare them, you're getting a little bit more damage with the marksman. Some extra stats that are, you know supplemental they don't really help you all that much a little bit less penetration no movement speed two percent movement speed is really nothing to be honest that's that's very small the crit damage boost which is amazing and then the weapons master boost which is amazing so this uh, honestly gives you you know just a tiny bit less than the assassin one so those are my recommendations for that if you're going to be playing assassin so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in another video later talking about another emblem set peace